Hello guys, what's up? This is Kiki. Today we want to try a new thing. It is pick up lines in Japanese. Japanese 101. This is by TV Filthy Frank. It's uploaded nine years ago. Let's give a shot. I don't know how it is. <laughs> Nice voice percussion. Here I call Nietzsche fucking law, my students. Welcome to Japanese 101, where we teach you words that you probably shouldn't use in public. Now today, we're gonna get a little more advanced. We're gonna start moving on to sentences. Are y'all ready to get kawaii as fuck? Today, I'm gonna teach you guys how to get the ladies in Japanese. Because let's face it, cutting a hole in a human-sized body pillow with your favorite anime character on it isn't gonna be satisfying for the rest of your life. You're not gonna be able to stick your dick through the computer screen or the USB port every time your favorite anime character says something cute. You're virtually fucking a computer. What are you, Steve Jobs? If you weeaboo fucks even saw a real Japanese girl, you'd start shaking and pissing yourself. What is this, Parkinson's? And that's why I'm here to help you today. To help you catch a live, breathing pussy. Now in English, when you're hitting on a girl, it's simple. Now if you were in an urban community, you would say, give me the pussy. <laughs> But that's not gonna work if you directly translate it. This ain't Google Translate. Now, if you were to directly translate something like this, it would just become pushy or kudasai, which is absolutely not correct. Now, this is only gonna work if you're asking her to literally just tear out a vagina and hand it to you. This ain't no autopsy. You're trying to be kawaii as fuck, not formal. But while we're here, that's pushy. That's a pussy. So I'm gonna teach you a more appropriate way of hitting on girls. Now, a truly appropriate translation would be Echi Shio. Say it with me. Say it with me. Echi Shio. So this would be Echi Shio. Now Echi could mean uh, a lot of things depending on like the, how you say it. Now it can vary from just fooling around to full on technical rape. This is why for this sentence, Echi Shio, if you say it harshly like Echi Shio, eh? Echi Shio, eh? Then it's gonna sound a lot like a rape cry. But if you say it softly, it's like saying, let's fool around a little bit. So you would say something like, empty shields, eh? And that's how you say it. But you know, if she starts screaming, <laughs> which let's face it, most of you guys know because you're all disgusting, and it means please stop, then you better run because the cops are coming. So there we have it, my students. Your sensei has taught you a valuable sentence today that you're probably gonna use. Echi Shio. Now you can go up to that quiet Japanese girl in the back of your class and tell her. And trust me, she's gonna love it. So until next time, Come back to learn some good ass Japanese words. Fuck Rosetta Stone, doesn't teach you shit. The only thing Rosetta Stone is ever gonna teach you is useless bullshit like this is a sea urchin. When the fuck are you gonna need to use this is a sea urchin? In what situation are you even supposed to hold a sea urchin? Rosetta Stone, what about Israel? What about Israel? Wow. Well, um, I, I mean, I liked how he can change voices and how he can change characters. That was really great. The beginning voice percussion is awesome. Um, I don't know what he's teaching. It's real, real or like right. I don't think in my life I have ever heard somebody told me it is you. I don't think I have. I don't know. I don't think so. I don't know. It's definitely depends on the personality. I think some people probably say that, but some people don't, and then don't use that for catch line. So don't take it so seriously, honestly. Yeah, but it's funny and definitely better than pussy. Look, that's like that doesn't make sense. Japanese doesn't even know what pussy means, so they were like, "What are you talking about?" So doesn't make sense. So. Fine. Um, well, it was interesting, um, but don't buy it for 100%. <laughs> and also, at the beginning, I think he said the burner thing, the like a headband thing, as in like um, Japanese 101, but it says he show, he show, that means uh, definitely win. So, like when you support some sport team or uh, any high school club team playing like baseball or soccer some people do the hisho hairband too and then support them and cheer them up 
Um, thanks for watching. Uh, please give us any comments below and see you in the next video. Bye bye. Thank you for watching my video. If you like this video, please click the like button below and subscribe to my channel. Bye bye.